Welcome to the UCI Ecological Preserve. I'm Peter Bowler, a faculty member in ecology and evolutionary biology, and I find this one of the most exciting places on the campus. This is a 62-acre permanently preserved habitat that is used for teaching, research, and enjoyment by the university and, and broader public. This area is located adjacent the San Joaquin Corridor, and then of course the campus itself, which is below us. It's been the site of half a dozen PhD and master's theses. There are dozens of uh, reports and publications that have arisen from research done at this site. This area, even though it's a fragment, still has a rich biology. There are four species of snakes, four species of lizards, roughly 226 species of higher plants uh, in about 54 families. Water is critical here, of course, as you can see by the uh, wood rat chewing on the prickly pear pad. This is an area that's dominated by coastal sage scrub, and the keystone species is coastal sagebrush, Artemisia californica, for which this uh, plant community is named. There are two species of cacti that dominate this preserve. One is Opuntia littoralis, prickly pear cactus, and the second is the coastal choya. Both are used as preferred nest habitats for the coastal cactus wren. We have between two and half a dozen pairs nesting here, and again, it's uh, extremely significant that these refugia remain intact. Here on the Ecological Preserve, we've had a lot of exciting work done in the last couple of years, transplanting prickly pear cactus from an area of the campus that will expand and eventually take them back to the preserve. In fact, we've had 12 and a half acres that are being restored in this manner. Now, looking at the cacti, uh, it's important to understand that both large, well-developed plants were moved and also individual pads were moved, thousands of them. And this is a wonderful conservation effort that the campus deserves great accolades for supporting. And it's not just uh, prickly pear cactus, which of course benefits the cactus wren. It's also many other species. Uh, in addition to the cacti, seeds were collected from native species here on the preserve and in the last two years have been seeded in and we have two species of needle grass uh, as well as native melic grass. So this has served as a source for restoration efforts elsewhere on the campus and nearby. One of the amazing things about a site like this is the diversity of microhabitats within it. We look at the shrubs, the open areas between them, characteristic of coastal sage scrub, and here we have thin soils uh, over a rocky substrate. This time of year it looks like a moonscape, but intriguingly when the spring rains come, these are exactly the areas that host specialized uh, annual flower displays. For example, here we have lots of uh, popcorn flower and lots of goldfield and other annuals that can only occur on these kinds of thin-soiled situations. This has been a, uh, a wonderful and enriching project for this site and it's uh, to the benefit of not just wildlife but also to the humans who come here and enjoy the site.